Hannah Horn, Vice President of Public Policy and Programs for the Hilton Head Bluffton Chamber of Commerce joining us. She has always got one eye watching her old hometown of Columbia, uh, watching out what the state legislature is up to. They're almost halfway through the session. Uh, what kind of progress is being made? Actually, a lot of progress. I'm, I am very pleased with the work that's happening in the General Assembly uh, this session. There has been a, a lot of movement on uh, education reform. I'll get to that in just a moment. Mm -hmm. But the, the big story out of the legislature at the moment is that the House Ways and Means uh, budget, uh, the budget writing process has gone through the House. It's mm -hmm. now gone to the Senate. So there are a lot of things in that budget that uh, I think that uh, are, are good for the state, things that, that move us forward in the way of economic development and, and jobs. And but But the real the the real key the the topic of the legislature this session has been education reform and there's money in that budget for teacher pay increases uh, to be able to reinvest in the infrastructure of schools around the state and invest in economic development in poor rural areas around the state that by putting that money in in, uh, in, in investment in jobs that that will be a rising tide for the local school system so uh, again a lot of work that budget now going to the senate it'll come back across in conference all right here locally uh, mm -hmm. intellectual Intellectual property sounds like a, a, a pretty scary topic for some small businesses, right. but you guys at the chamber are addressing that with a very interesting speaker coming up. Absolutely. You know, think about it, Bob. Even WHHI, mm -hmm. your logo, your programming, the names of your programs, any business that um, has, again, a logo, a slogan, maybe a font, a special process that they use, a recipe, uh, either you are, you have intellectual property within your business, or perhaps you use other people's intellectual property in your without even knowing perhaps you've named your business something that another business mm -hmm. in Montana is also named and they're going to come after you. So protecting yourself not only within your business but externally um, is a great thing to think about for any small business. We have a powerhouse of a speaker coming in on March 28th. Her name is Lyka Colwell. Ms. Colwell is an attorney with Nex and Pruitt out of Charleston. Uh, she is an expert when it comes to uh, lawsuits, litigation related to intellectual property. Uh, it would cost a lot of money if you yeah. had had a, a session with Ms. Colwell, <laughs> but this is free, open to the public. Glad to help businesses learn about this very important topic. Good stuff. Go to the Chamber website to mm -hmm. find more about that. And last week we talked about the adult leadership classes right. for uh, the, the Chamber. Uh, you've also got a junior leadership class that seems very intriguing. We do. For uh, 10 years now, the Chamber mm -hmm. has had a junior leadership program. Uh, this consists of 33, this year, 33 high school students out of six high schools south of the broad. These young people go through a nine month program during their junior year of high school. We're currently recruiting. So if you know of any current high school sophomores, rising juniors that right. would like to be a part of this program, it is a competitive uh, application process. We limit it to about 30, 35 students. Would love to hear from you. Information on our website at the chamber as well as you can just give me a call. And in the words of uh, Dr. Seuss, oh, the contacts you will make if you get into that uh, program. The places right? you'll go, you got Yes, it. and the you places you will it. indeed go. Mm -hmm. Thanks so much, Hannah. Mm -hmm. Hannah Horn of the Hilton Head Bluffton Chamber of Commerce.